we say for Michael, it's Michael Taylor, my son. Michael was my brother. He was very energetic, liked to do fun events and more impromptu events. Had a great sense of humor. He started struggling with addiction after a shoulder surgery. He passed away when he was 26. Mike was uh, one of my best friends. He and I were friends since middle school. Just the kind of guy who you always wanted to be around. He had just this huge smile. Um, he was a freak athlete, but he was also very humble um, and just, just a really loyal, really, really good friend. Yes, we have tragedy. Taylor's had tragedy and I had tragedy and many others have. So many every day. But we're not here to talk about tragedy today. For those that we've lost, we will remember them. We must never forget them. Shatterproof is a national organization that's dedicated to ending the devastation that the disease of addiction causes families. We do a lot of advocacy. We also work on ending stigma. We really associate with Shatterproof's cause and it's been great to work with them because he didn't agree with the fact that people should have a problem with anybody that suffers from addiction. This is the premier recovery event in Fairfield County. I'm so happy you guys are all here to celebrate recovery, have a good time out on the beach, enjoy one another, show up for each other. The event is a substance-free event for the local community and we do a build your own boat race, silent auction, food trucks, a dunk tank, and a live music all day. So it's a really good event for the community. Today's event is for everyone to enjoy music and food and have boat races and they're all things that Michael Taylor would have loved to participate in. I'm part of the committee for planning this event. We wanted to plan our own event because, you know, we wanted it to be something different and personalized and he liked the beach, he liked boating. This would have been an event that he would have liked, so we did it for him. The event is really to raise money for Shatterproof, trying to end the stigma around drug addiction, but also change things at a legislative level, really just sort of change the way that people view addiction and addiction treatment. We as a group, the people who plan this event and everyone who attends today, have channeled some of that collective grief, I think, and we decided to, to do something positive with it. It really is just uh, emblematic of his spirit this day in this beautiful weather. And all you have to do is take one look around today and you'll see the type of person that Mike was, the smile on people's faces and everybody laughing. Even somebody who's so consumed by such a horrible disease can still go back to the way that they were. It doesn't, doesn't need to define that person, it didn't define Mike.